Auburn Stadium here in Hattiesburg, Mississippi, where the Alcorn State Braves have traveled from Mormon, Mississippi over. Gibbs' first kick were underway in Hattiesburg, and it's taken from the one. It is, I believe, giving himself up that over to the left of the formation in the slot. Macon looking to throw for the first time downfield. Chase Stanley, are you kidding me? Did he hold on? They say. Then he to get back out there on the field. It is a first carry of the season for Frank Gort Jr. He is inside the 40, inside the 35, and tackled down the 16 yard line in his first and 10. Wiles dumps it off. Caught by Jacarius Kasten, and he's in. Kasten's motion of the season. That was really easy for Southern Miss. They got the ball on the turnover. Right play in the opening quarter. Golden Eagles strike first. That to the left. Pressure coming back side. Wiles feels it. He fires. It is caught again by Jacarius Kasten. Wiles. Wiles quickly out caught. Snagging the football was Latrell Jones. Wiles goes to Ty Mims. Mims darting around. He has electric speed, as you can see. And he'll go in. A give to Frank Gore Jr. and he's in. The Gets the score for the Southern Miss Golden Eagles. Yeah, and that was just too easy. Hattiesburg, Mississippi. On Alcorn State in this football game so far. Tyler Macon rolls to his left. He is going to fire sidearm. That man again. Mama, that's him. He'll motion Chandler Pittman across. Blitz coming. Pressure. He throws it up. No one there. Chandler Pittman had set the route down, and there is a tall has dialed up here for his Golden Eagles. Brandon Hayes in the slot. They're going up top to him, and he has been pushed out of bounds. Good coverage applied. Jake Lang, holder of the year, candidate calls for it. Stein's first field goal in 1,300. Or needs to, to get something going here on the offensive side. It is Tyler Macon into the open. Efren's on a zone read. Tyler Macon's going 75 yards. Macon is, he has the unique ability to hit a home run at any time. And he just looks up and right there, he's gone. You, you have just gonna, you're not gonna have a chance to, to catch the, the guy because of Macon run. Wiles going up top. This is Kasten who has made another reception. His own by the Braves. It almost looked lined up in the neutral zone. A pass that is caught forward for the first down. That's Ty Mims, the Wyrus Clemson Tigers. He has motioned Kasten around the end. It is Jacarius Kasten. He has popped up around the 18. It's the super back. Keep in mind, this guy's got seven touchdown passes in his career. It is Frank Gore Jr. Off the right side. Alcorn holds him here. They're going to have to hold him again because I believe Southern Miss will go for it uh, again. But they don't have to, JB. Wiles finds Frank. One receiving. Good answer there by the Back Southern Miss. More. You're watching Sunbelt Conference football on ESPN. Hall, I think it's just some credit to the Alcorn State defense. Yep. You mentioned it. They brought the pressure. They've stifled up. Here's a pass across. He can fly, folks. Across the 30 is where they will drop him down. If I had to describe you who Billy Wiles is, that throw is who Billy Wiles is. Down the field, straight and received by the tight end. That's Davis. Backs do a really good job with their accuracy. They're going to give it. Go. Career. Probably not going to be the last either. Uh, and no, so the miss. Wiles opt in the run, dragged down from behind. Terrence Ellis, who's back in. Brennan Miller on the snapper, snaps it back. The hold is good by Jake Lang. The kick is true by Andrew. 1,371 days. He <laughs> nasty, just 94 yards of total offense thus far 
in the first half for Alcorn State. This is their second longest rush of the evening. It is Wiles to start the third quarter. Downfield finds Jacarius Caston. And this Golden Eagle offense picking up. Right. See Wiles back across the middle again to Caston. Well, the, both of those passes, we, we talked about how he's a man at the bottom of the formation. Wiles is going to the top of the formation, and this is intercepted. The Braves find it in their hands. That's Robert McDaniel that just shut it down in the front corner of the end zone. And we've mentioned McDaniel to the right of Aaron Allen. Pressure coming. Allen spinning it downfield, and it is batted away. What near Bow and he'll. Uh, He'll, he'll make some adjustments and, and get better, and they're going to be a force to be reckoned with in the SWAC. They call him Frog. Latrell Jones with the for Alcorn State, a screen pass. Look out. This guy in space. Frank Gord Jr. inside the 10-yard line. A penalty set. Haven't seen it tonight. Billy Wiles stepping up. Wiles wrapped up for sack of the night. Goes to the See what happens. Stein, good, 52 yards. And I guarantee if you ask him after the game, he's going to tell everybody he should have had three because there was that third one that he had in his hands that he almost came down with and wasn't able to corral it in. Quarterback, we've seen it tonight. Southern Miss with a carry. Dreek Clark slipped the tackle across the 50. And, uh, and, and for that reason, being able to keep Gore fresh. Brandon Hayes with a reception inside the 30, down to the two. Tough ball games week after week after week. You keep your star running back fresh, and that's what he was so happy and excited to talk to us about is what this allows him. November, they'll share that similarity characteristic and statistic. Davis Dalton moves the sticks inside the. This, it, it seems like you know, this is only his third year. Uh, of, of coaching at, at Southern Miss, and it just seems like he's been here longer than that. Is it just me? Billy Wiles spins it. This is received and a move made. That's Chandler Pittman with the reception. Wiles takes the snap, spins it, caught and received. Tyquan Henderson with his first touch from top, 36 to 7. Yeah, he was open early. Wild saw him pass to Tyquan Henderson tonight. Southern Miss seven of eight in the red zone. Last season they were this is against the the coverage that Southern Miss has had. As you see, a nice pass over the middle there. It can be the passing game ignited from Aaron Allen. He's got the talent. Days before there was an official announcement, he was just waiting and waiting. He couldn't wait till it was official. But he just really feels appreciative of the opportunity that, that Hall. He backfield here. We're going to get to see him throw, throw the football. Well, we thought we were going to, but nice pressure there by Alcorn and, and uh, causing the sack on. 310 pounds in that group. Aaron Allen going downfield, hanging on to make the catch, but turn to kind of find out this Southern Miss club wants to play man underneath, thinks they can do so some. It sort of comes from the curb year. You usually see a lot more penalties than that. Here goes Jarvion Howard, rumbling and stumbling down to the 15. And Allen navigating a nice drive for the Alcorn State Braves. This is a give to Nico Duffy, the backup tailback. Nico Duffy's in. A touch. Run there, but Duffy just weaving in and out. Taking the ball to the outside, weaving it. He gives the Antavius Willis. You can see the burst from the super back in Antavius. Get, get, get a pass, and here you go. Edwards here, the route was jumped, read beautifully by Keenan Leachman, the free. Edwards spins this right to Tyquan Henderson. They go right back to the same play. Yeah. Already has a touchdown reception tonight, his first of his Golden Eagle career. Edwards goes out to Zay Franks to the 19th. Edwards on the read, goes down, sacked. 
into the hands that time was the linebacker. Field goal, if you remember, Briggs Bourgeois hit one from 50 plus to send it to overtime last year in that 4 0. Here, you know, Wiles decided to do to, to, not to go to Tulane. And then uh, it's just really unique hearing that story. And at quarterback, the true freshman. Heard He's a lot of good things from, from Hall about Crawford as well. Uh, being at Oak Grove High School for Drew Causey with a couple yard carry on first down. Now spins his way forward. Look at the film and, and see a lot of good things about his defense. You see him there still pursuing. Look at him still pursuing. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight of the 11 white jerseys. Forward. Uh, they'll figure it out. They'll, they'll get their, their passing game going. And uh, and, uh, and and McNair next, and no other team had more than two votes. Good effort here from the third string tailback for the all court state. And we'll give it again to Sewell, and that's it. Ball game here in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Fred McNair walking it for the Southern Miss Golden Eagles and INT on the third play from scrimmage from Jay. Our analyst Larry Boyd, our statistician Marty Windham. I'm Jason Baker. Special thank you to Lee Field and his entire production crew.